All right, this one's gonna be pretty short. The Cineon converter effect is found under the utility category and it is designed to work with Cineon footage. If you don't know what that means, you're probably never going to touch this effect. Cineon or DPX are both formats for converting film footage to digital files for motion picture production. And the Cineon converter effect, if I apply it to this clip that's just an MV4, it's nothing special, it is not a Cineon file. It gives us controls to convert from log to linear, linear to log, log to log. Again, if you are working with Cineon footage, then you probably understand all of this already and are not coming to YouTube to try and find a tutorial explaining how to use this effect. But it is designed to handle cinematic footage within After Effects in a way that's going to preserve and take advantage of the full color range of that 10 bit footage file. And it gives you various controls for setting the black point, white point, gamma, and even highlight roll off. None of this really applies to the footage that I have here. It can make a difference, but obviously it doesn't look all that great. If I had access to Cineon footage, I would have shown that. But once again, if you're working with Cineon footage, you probably don't need this tutorial. But I can't leave any effects out of this series, so that's all you need to know about the Cineon converter effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.